Pisces. I usually don't do a whole lot of exposure videos, like only when the Holy Spirit leads. Sometimes there'll be two in a day, not per day, but there might be a moment where there may be two in a day or one in a day. And that's about it. But I have to talk to you all about this, okay? First of all, I'm going to make something very clear about tithing. And I've gone over this before. When you give to a ministry, you don't have to give if you don't want to. You have a choice. I don't accept donations. You all know that. Okay? But Jesus Christ never charged for the gospel. He sent his 12 disciples out and he said, do not take anything other than what leave with leave I'm only, I'm paraphrasing here but he told them to leave only with what they left with only what's on their back don't take any money because the gospel is a free gift the good news that you can have eternal life in Jesus Christ is a free gift if you repent you shouldn't be charged for that and I've talked about this before okay if you choose to give to a don uh, to give to a cause, you can help somebody in your homeless homeless shelter in your area. You can help out uh, your church or help out needy kids. You know, if you do have to give to a ministry. Don't give directly to the ministry because you don't know where the money's going. You can't trust anyone. You could ask the ministry, what cause are they helping and who can I make the check out to so you can send it directly to where it needs to go. That way you know your hard-earned money is blessing someone in, gen in, in, in genuine. Meaning, really, that's actually blessing them and it's not falling into a thief's hands. I'm not saying all pastors are bad say most of them are. This leads me to what I'm talking about now. Anita Fuentes put up a video saying how the Jezebel really came out in her in this video. Okay. This woman begs for money on her ministries. If you go to her EMOAF website, she charges, I think it's $160 to become a so-called ordained pastor or minister. You don't need to be ordained by man, ladies and gentlemen. You just need to be ordained by Christ Jesus, and that's free. That's it. You don't need man's approval. All you need is Christ Jesus' approval. To do baptisms, do you know that Paul, who was not a minister ordained by man, he was ordained by God, that he baptized souls? Do you know all the tw that the 12 disciples did that? Do you know that that those that they baptize spread the gospel and they baptize others? Do you know that these 12 disciples, because of Christ Jesus, made disciples of nations? So this woman's going back to Anita Fuentes, is begging for money in her ministry. Okay? Apparently she's not getting enough donations for whatever reason. She doesn't need all that money. So this is what she did. This is her attitude. Because you people are not paying up She's not going to show you any more end time news. She's supposedly not going to feed you the gospel like she's ever been doing that. A real pastor and minister of the gospel is not going to deprive you of being fed. Jesus told Peter, Will you, are you feeding my sheep? Because Peter sat at the table when the Lord was res after the Lord was resurrected. And Peter was interested in eating. And the Lord asked him three times, Peter, do you love me? Are you feeding my sheep? And so Peter finally responded. What the Lord meant by that is, are you torn away from the world and focus on me? Focus on me, my will, first of all, Jesus, the will of Christ Jesus, and feeding his sheep. Jesus never told Peter to feed the sheep and expect money in return. Jesus told his disciples to spread the gospel, feed the sheep, and do not collect any money in return because the gospel is free. Now, this woman, Anita Fuentes, is begging money from all you people saying that she needs to uh, 
spread the gospel for her end time ministry. You know what she does with your money? She doesn't spend it on you. It goes in her pocket. Everybody knows that. Now you can receive this message, ladies and gentlemen, and test the spirits and go to Christ Jesus and confirm if this is true or not. But if you look at her latest video, she is she feels like this. You need this is her attitude. This is not me. I'm just going to imitate her for a second and I'm not being mocking, okay? You need to pay me for what I do on here. And unless you pay me, I'm not going to preach the gospel. I'm not going to tell you about end time um, Bible prophecy. I'm not doing anything for the Lord until you pay me what I'm due. That's her attitude. A real minister of the gospel, a pastor, will work for the Lord as a laborer 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, without rest, without money, not asking you for money. That's a real minister of the gospel. She distorted your views about tithing, saying that you have to give. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do, ladies and gentlemen. You make a choice to give if you tithe. And I've gone over tithing before. I told you tithing means to make an offer. It doesn't have to be monetary, but for Anita Fuentes, it has to be. She wants your money. She doesn't tell you to take your old clothes and donate them to the Salvation Army or whatever food you have. If you have some canned goods you can spare to take them down to your local soup kitchen or to take old toys that you may have down to, um, what is it called, tots for kids. Okay, for needy kids. She doesn't tell you to do that. Do you know that tithing means to offer what you can give? doesn't have to be money. So if you have old clothes in your closet that you can spare to the Salvation Army so they can clothe the homeless or even blankets, that's an offering. If you have um, any canned goods to spare to your homeless shelter, to um, your church, to your soup kitchen for needy kids, that's an offering. It does not have to be money. But for Anita Fuentes, it's all about money. She's greedy. She's a greedy, selfish, false prophet Jezebel. And I'm not the only one calling her out. Other people have too. She's mad at you people because you're not donating any money. And she's not going to put up any more so-called prophecies or so-called, she's a false prophet anyway, but so-called Bible prophecy. She's not going to put up any more anything about the gospel until you pay her. Then she'll start preaching the gospel. It don't work like that. If you profess to be a minister of the gospel, you do the will of the Father. Right now, this woman's putting herself first when Christ Jesus comes first. Okay? every She put up a, a latest letter on her YouTube channel saying that people are saying this to her. If your ministry is not... You know, if it's becoming a fun... If you're going through financial hardship, you're not able to keep your ministry afloat, why don't you cut down? They, people made excellent suggestions. They said... She should stop doing the billboards, stop doing the conferences, stop. She doesn't need the website, EMOF. She doesn't need to sell cups. She doesn't need to sell so-called fake uh, minister ordination packages. You know, she doesn't need any of that. All she needs is a YouTube channel like I'm doing with you guys and to just speak. And whoever chooses to share the, this, these videos can share it. Because all it takes is one soul, one soul, to hear the truth and the word of God and to be fed like you are in this ministry with me right now. And take that one video and spread it to thousands. And that will create fields of righteous trees, meaning righteous souls, who will go out and spread the gospel and make disciples of nations and keep spreading it. All you need is one soul, people told her. They were giving her all these suggestions. You know what she said? She called them abusive for saying that. For telling her to cut expenses. You don't need to do conferences. You don't need to do um, uh, the website. You don't need to sell your cups. You don't need to do the ordination ministry. There's $160 to get ordained per package? Her ministry package to get ordained as a pastor, as a minister by her, is $160. You don't need that, ladies and gentlemen. You could get ordained by Christ Jesus. Okay. Um, about the advertisements, told, telling her to cut back on that, 
telling her to cut back on the vlog because that costs money. Getting a radio vlog and a radio station costs money to cut back on that. This woman is tricking you people. She did it a few years back where she was asking for $2 million from donations to get this bigger office space to spread her gospel. Well, you don't even need that, okay? And I called her out on it. I told her, you know, why don't you get out a bank loan? Why are you asking these people for their hard-earned money? You know what she did? She canceled the donations. She canceled it because she knew I was right and she's an evil snake and she's a liar. Ladies and gentlemen, I do my ministry right from my house. You, I gave a tour of my house before. I'm not rich. I'm not fancy. I don't do fancy video editing. I collect whatever videos I can get and send forth the end time news to you. Okay, if I do any video editing, my sons help me. It's right from their PC. You know what? It's video editing is not bad. Okay, they do excellent work. And it costs, guess how much? Zero dollars. Zero dollars. I don't accept donations, period, because I feel as though you people work hard for your earn. You work hard for your money. You want to donate? You want to give to this ministry? Do me a favor. You give to your homeless in your area. You give to your, your soup kitchens. You know, you see a homeless person on the street, you give them $10, $5, whatever. You donate to the Salvation Army in your area. That's how you can give to this ministry. That's the tithing I ask from you. You want to tithe to this ministry? Don't give me any money. Okay? I'm asking that you reach in your pockets if you can. Pockets meaning canned goods, old clothes, old blankets, whatever. You just donate it to your local church, your local Salvation Army, homeless shelter in your area, needy kids in your area. And you make a positive difference there. Okay? Jesus was very clear when he said, do not accept money when you are preaching the gospel because it's a free gift. You don't charge for the gospel like Miss Fuentes is doing. Not only her, Pastor Paul Begley does that. There's another one. I told you about Rachel Sheriff. She recently put out a video saying that she was she needed money, she was in trouble, you know, she her husband left her, this, that, and the other. Next thing you know, you see her preaching a fake gospel in New York City. Where did she get that money from? Obviously from the stupid people that donated to her so-called satanic ministry. These fake pastors and ministers, ladies and gentlemen, they're disgusting. Okay? Because Jesus is infuriated. You don't have to charge for the gospel. You, as a minister, do not have to charge for the gospel. Gospel is a free gift. You people don't have to donate a dime for the gospel because it's a free gift okay it's a free gift all right I've had people offer me money and I actually turn them down and I tell them you take that money and you donate it to somebody in your area that needs help ladies and gentlemen don't let Satan seal your blessings you could bless somebody else that really needs help and God will bless you in return if you choose to donate to a ministry, that is your choice. All I ask is you pray on it. You pray on it. And do the smart thing, ladies and gentlemen. If your pastor's asking you for money, you tell them, who needs help? Where, who can I make the check out to? What organization? If you are donating to a ministry, you have every right to ask for a receipt to find out to find out where your hard-earned money is going to, to prove that that pastor is donating to where they say they're going to donate to. People asked Anita Fuentes for this, and she flipped out. They said, we want an account for where our donations are going, and she called them abusive. Only Satan does that. Be careful, ladies and gentlemen, and remember, preach the gospel in and out of season. It is a free gift, not charged. In other words, you preach the gospel for free. Don't place a price tag on it or you will have to answer to Christ like these false prophets will.